Hello everyone, welcome back to Malaculous HS. The cheap tech continues. I didn't know how I got these for so cheap, but they were $30 off. They were $50, but now they're $20, so they deserve to be in a cheap tech episode. It's a company that doesn't exist only through supermarkets. It's called Audio to try and sound cool and fancy and whatever. Uh, also, I apologise for the lighting. It's not daytime right now and I don't have my light with me simply because um, I will never have it with me because it broke. Don't buy Chinese brand lights. So we will have to deal with this mediocre lighting and I will turn on my flashlight if we need it. But anyway, these are called the Escape Sports with flexible ear hooks. So basically a Power Beats ripoff if you've heard of the Power Beats. Uh, they're quite old now, but uh, these are new. So let's take a look at the specs on the box. Like I said, 20 bucks, 25 hours, which you would expect for a charging case this big. Let me try, let me, you know what? I'm gonna pull out a few different earbuds. Um, True Wireless. And I've had lots of issues with True Wireless earbuds recently. So we've got two options, my latest option and uh, some fake pods to compare these two once we get them open. But IPX4, it says waterproof, they're not waterproof, they're just IPX4, so, you know, they'll be able to handle um, a splash or two. Microphone, nice, and um, hands-free with pause and play. Pre-charged, 50% pre-charged. Is that a feature? <laughs> really? <laughs> All right, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's get these unboxed. So we don't have Legami with me, but we just have all these scissors because it's in this awkward packaging that no one likes. Um, but I actually, you know what, coming to think of it, I think it's a box in a box. I think this is awkward blister packaging. That went flying, Jesus. I think it's this awkward blister packaging with the actual box inside of it. Maybe they had theft. Who knows? People opened the box in the store and took them. Who knows? But it's annoying to get in still. There's no good way to, to open it. What is this packaging? I actually think my speculation is correct. I think it truly is just a blister packaging. Um, a blister box just shoved in. A cardboard box shoved in a blister. Oh, no, it's not. This is open. Okay. Flick of the wrist. Flick of the wrist. All right. So, sweet. USB-C. That's the first thing that I looked at. It's USB-C. So, that's great. Already a good start. Ear tips, medium and small, or large and small. If you do not love our product, please help us get it right. Okay. So they are an actual brand. Wow, okay. I didn't think they were an actual brand. Um, but no, they are. All right, so let's grab the earbuds out first. And then your case, which is humongous might I add there we go, that's better you know what just flick at the wrist the whole thing all right this is the case <laughs> so get that out of here earbuds case let's go over the case first um, it is massive right let's get this thing open let's crack it oh wait wait what so it's not magnetic. Oh, or is it? It's kind of like a... It's not a, one of those nasty clip-on ones, but it's not magnetic either. There's no magnet in the... Flashlight will have to go on. <laughs> there's no... Um, there's no magnet in here. But it kind of feels like... You're not like forcing it shut like that. It does close on its own, but it's not magnetized. How weird. Anyway, it's not the nicest feeling case in the world in, in terms of closing. But um, quality, it's not bad. You can't really press in on it, which is nice. It's, it's kind of hard to open. Oh, yeah, it's not really that, not really that nice. But um, size-wise, here are some like typical normal size earbuds. These are the JBL Endurance Race Review coming soon. And, you know, you just, you know, just looking at that. The chunkness is ridiculous. Here's some fake pods, which are exactly the same size as AirPods. Just, yeah, look at that. And then the, the chunkness. You could double the thickness. Good luck getting these into skinny jeans. Um, but anyway, 
Now that we've gone over the case, let's put them aside and go over the buds for a second. All right, they have a very hard ear hook. Let me grab some other headphones with these ear hooks. The um, discontinued JBL Endurance Sprints. I've been using these for four years. They're amazing. Like literally the best sounding headphones you can get for 60 bucks. Um, no headphones match this sound for cheap. Even the new JBL Endurance Races don't sound as good as these. But anyway, they have the same power hook design. Well, not power hook, ear hook. But this is magnet. It's, it has got a magnet in it. And it's super tack, uh, super easy to move. Um, and fit to your ears, and these have twist lock. These literally go in no problem whatsoever, and they're four years old, and they're still amazing to this day. But they don't sell them anymore, and they're not true wireless. So these don't have any magnets in them, um, which is totally fine. Not a lot um, of ear hook headphones do have the magnet in them, but they are quite stiff, and I don't know how that's going to play out. They don't feel that bad. Uh, they don't feel amazing. They're not the best quality. But for $20, they feel more than $20 earbuds. They don't feel like $100 earbuds. They don't feel quite as good as the JBLs. Um, but they don't feel like crap. <laughs> they don't feel like you could drop them and they'll snap right open like the, um, the fake pods do here. Anyway, I'm going to... Um, first, before we chuck them in the case, I'm going to slap them in my ears. Um, we're going to have to put the large tips on like I do with every single earbud. Ooh, we'll slap him in my ears first. So yeah, this this super hard ear hook is hard to get on at first, but you know once it's in, once it's in, it is it is in. You know, I de definitely will need to fit the large earbuds because yeah, I do that to <laughs> to every headphone that I own. Um, every true wireless earbud, every earbud, I have to fit the large in. So I will do that now. Talk amongst yourselves. So these, what is going on with the right side of my camera? Okay, so these tips are actually really hard to get on, which is always a good thing. It means that the tips are actually designed for this headphone. So let's chuck them in again. Uh, oh, screw you tripod. Screw you. There we go. Okay, now my hair always gets in the way. So I, I look crazy trying to put headphones in, like, <laughs> in public. Because I'm always trying to get my hair out of the way. <laughs> yeah, they um they fit pretty good. They isolate sound. A lot of them, a lot of the cheap buds just don't isolate sound or they come loose. But no, these are very secure. They when I when I wiggle them, they really don't want to move, which is good. The ear hook is comfortable. That's good. They isolate a lot of noise. They feel high quality in my ears. But we need to pair them, so let's do that. Ew, I've already dirtied them up. Gross. <laughs> Alright, let's just give them a little pop of you. Oh, I have a microfiber cloth that I keep off to the side like Flossie Carter does. Alright, um, let's open these. I don't like how... You... Oh, it's... Oh, you have to have super strength grip. Alright. The magnets feel high quality. Um, oh, that one didn't slip in properly. Okay. It feels weird closing this. There's no lights on the case, inside or outside. I don't know how I feel about that. You're not going to know how charged the case is. Um, but let's just take them out the case for a second. And let's get them to power up. So they're in pairing mode right now. The right one is anyway. I don't know if the left one... Yeah, the left one's doing what the... Left one does. So, because the right one is being independent, I'm guessing you can only use the right one if you want to just use one earbud. If you want to use t um, just one, it's going to always have to be the right one. The left one is just a placeholder for the right. It doesn't have its own thing, software. It doesn't have its own capabilities to be its own earbud. Audio Escape. Pairing. These, I heard something. Yeah, battery at sixty percent. They are paired. Let's um, go to music. I'm about to get blown away. Um, 
no, nah, just kidding. I'm about to. I'm not. I'm not expecting good things. But the build quality and comfort is actually through the roof right now for twenty dollar earbuds. So, who knows? This might be uh, the best sound I've ever experienced. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. We got. Do you want some more? Already preloaded. They're very easy to get in, by the way. It's just it's just my hair that's annoying. Yeah, they do fit in very nice. All right, let's, let's play. Do you want some more? All right. All right, not bad, not bad. Are y'all playing pause? I think it's one tap. Yeah. Play pause again. All right, sweet. Um, I didn't actually read up on the touch controls, so I'm glad I got that right. Who doesn't know the touch controls nowadays though? Okay, um, I have to take these out to talk properly because they actually isolate so much. Um, all right, let's talk about sound. Um, my first time listening to these, they sound a lot like JBLs, um, I'd, I'd say. They have a lot of punchy bass. They don't have, they're not too detailed in the top end. Um, you know, the treble isn't, you're not going to be able to pick out every single detail in your song that you're listening to, but there's a lot of bass, especially in about 60% volume. Um, you'd be satisfied if you're a bass head. Uh, definitely not the clearest, but there's no distortion at high volume, which uh, the fake pods definitely had tons of distortion at high volume. Uh, the bass sounded fine. Uh, they got pretty loud. Definitely not, not the loudest, not quite as loud as um, the JBLs or these JBLs, but definitely louder than, you know, the fake pods and the nanopods and uh, the <clears throat> liquid ears. But they sound, for $20 headphones, these are through the roof they're the best $20 headphones that I've ever had. these are $20 and they these blow these out of the water um in terms of would I compare I would legitimately compare these two even though these are six times the price um they the JBL endurance race sound just a tad better in the high end but uh really the mids and bass are very very similar uh, there's not a lot of sub bass. There's a lot of punchy bass. That's what JBL likes to do, and the um, the top end of JBL is definitely more detailed, and you know you're gonna like it more. Uh, volume wise, they're about the same. The JBLs are louder though, um, and to be honest, the build quality is far better than what I was expecting. But we have to always do the um, the uh, true wireless. Okay, I don't like that, the case. <laughs> um, but to be honest, the case is big because it needs to be big because these headphones are giant. They have a giant ear hook. The battery is... 25 hours for $20 headphones is great because the battery is just so huge. Um, I haven't actually read up on the, the details of the battery. I don't know if it says down here. It's a 400 milliamp hour. Yeah, that's about average. Definitely could fit in a 1,000 in down here. Um, but... One cell, 3.7 volts. So just one cell. 0.4 amp hours. Ugh. All right, I'm going to chuck them back in the case. And if they turn off... All right, they turned off. And they've gone the... Re the yep, red light, charging. It's a very faint red light, but it is a red light. And they are charging. All right. And they have gone off on the Bluetooth thingy up here. Amazing. Um, I'm going to be adding these to the collection and definitely using these because um, they're very secure. Um, of course, we'll do the flappage test, which is this is going to pass because it doesn't have any magnets clips closed. It's kind of hard to grab, though. 50%. 75. 100%. Oh, I dropped them. Oh, wait, there is a light in here. There's a green light. <laughs> Um, doesn't tell you how much battery there is though, but they pass the, um, the flappage test, obviously because there's no magnets in these, it's just a clip. 
it's going to be more secure, but it's not going to feel as nice. They're very hard to... If you have sweaty hands, good luck opening these. Whether like the JBLs, you flick them right open. The fake pods, you flick them right open. Why are they turning on? Uh-oh. <laughs> um, and they're great. So for $20, do I recommend that you pick these up? Absolutely. If, if these were $80, I think they'd still be worth it with a little bit higher water resistance. These would be absolutely, totally worth it. The battery life claims are amazing. The sound is, its they sound like $80 headphones, to be honest. If I paid $80 for these, I would be, yep, that's what I expected. $80, they sound like $80 headphones. They feel like $80 headphones. The weight, these definitely weigh more. Not by much, but they weigh more, obviously, because they're huger, much, 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 much huger. <laughs> USB-C charging, which is great to see. I thought there'd be micro USB. Why would anything really be micro USB these days, though? But yeah, that is my review for these twenty-dollar Audio Escape headphones. If you did happen to like this video and want to see more cheap tech like this, I kind of don't want to put it in the cheap tech category because it doesn't feel like cheap. <laughs> but um. Yeah, definitely subscribe because more of this stuff will be incoming. And there's a lot of this audio branded stuff on the supermarket shelves. There's a whole rack for these things now. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And talk amongst yourselves. And I'll catch you on the flip side, motherfucker.